Right, so all the levels have secret cars, and level 2 is no exception. In level 2, the secret car is the monorail. Out of the way, wasp. I hate you, wasps. Yuck. Go away. You can actually drive the monorail. I think from my memory, it controlled like absolute arse, but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm driving a train through the downtown area. Laughter. Can I do missions in the monorail? It understeers quite a lot. It understeers like a boat, but it's drivable. Right, how's it going, Professor Frank? You have a mission for me. I need the power of video game violence to run my latest invention slash monster. If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live and we can play with it and enjoy the frolicking. Right, Bar and Frink, go to Herman's Military Antiques to find a World oh, War II hey. radio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Herman doesn't really appear in many episodes anymore. Hold on! Why, why am I driving the monorail? Right, so follow the black van apparently. I can't just go to Herman's myself, even though I know where it is. Apparently I have to follow the black van. But I know where it is. Should I do the jump in the monorail? <laughs> no, no, that wouldn't work. That's bound to fail. Right, let's actually race him there. I know I'm meant to follow him, but... Oi! That was rather rude! Come back here, Black Fan. I want a pizza. He's gone a completely odd way. Why has he gone the really long way around? That made me almost lose him because he's been an idiot. Is he stuck? I'm going to follow this van. He's just getting stuck on the map. I've actually got to slow down. Is it... He's stuck again. Well, this is a fun mission. I guess I'll just wait here for him to catch up. Take your time, take your time. We're not, we've got all day apparently. Why can't I just drive to Herman's myself? I already know where it is, it's just around here. Oh no, Snake's driven off. What a naughty man. I can't imagine he's the next part of the mission. Where's Wiggum gone? Oh, he's around the, why are you hiding around the corner? Have a kick in the crotch. Out of my way, man. Take that, police. Out of the way, wannabe. I love how I don't get hit and run. <laughs> Literally kicking Wiggum up the arse. Oh no, I've got hit and run. Oh, I hit him too many times. Oh, this has all gone horribly wrong. Taxi! Run away! I'm running away from the police. Oh, dearie me. It's all gone horribly wrong. Oh, no. Sorry, Wiggum. Ah! Right. Are the cops still after me? Whoa, wicked. I think I've lost them. Right, let's actually do the mission then. Instead of getting the cops after me, I guess that's what happens when you kick the chief of police in the arse. Oh no, I exploded that bomb. Right, my monorail better still be here, or has it disappeared now? My monorail's still there. Oh no, there's two police now. I'm in big trouble. Hey, Springfield's lamest. What's the deal? Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Hey, you don't know who did it, do you? Because if you did, boy, that would be great. Oh no. Now where am I going to get a radio? These fresh skid marks leading away from the scene of the crime could be a clue. But who's to say, really? Fresh skid marks. I don't want to hear about your skid marks, Wiggum. Right, look for the thief in the monorail. I should probably change car now, because I think the next part of this is going to be hard. Right, let's get that fast car. Ooh, uh, camera. Yeah, this car's actually pretty fast. Can I have it, sir? Sir, wait up. I need your car. Children Thank weren't you. To get this right, bye-bye, monorail. You was actually relatively useful, but I think I have to race, Snake. And I'm not racing him in the monorail. And <laughs> right, Snake, why are you stopped in the middle of the motorway, you silly man? Hey, Snake, what's up? Um, do I know you, little dude? I need that radio you borrowed. No way, little dude. This radio is going to help me score beaucoup de chicks. Oh, dude, like a race. Right, race Snake to the stadium. Oh, there we go. I think this car has at least two or three star speed, so it's actually pretty decent for races. So there, there we go. What are you pulling away? If I had the monorail, I'd lose 100% of the time. Oh, Lionel Hutz. Ah, sorry, I got distracted by that Lionel Hutz advert. Oh, it'd be so good if Lionel Hutz was in this game. But I think by this point, unfortunately, Phil Hartman had passed away. He was such a great character. Lionel Hutz is one of my favourite all-time Simpsons characters. That was totally 
awesome. So I think this game was made when we was around when The Simpsons was around season 12 or 13 or so. All right, Snake's still on my tail, and he's still on my tail because I'm smashing into lampposts. Oh, out of the way, pizza delivery van. Oh, right, that's the end right there. That mission was not too bad at all. Right, take that stupid cat. Bye. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, kitty. Right, here we are. Talk to Cletus. Cletus again. How's it going? What do you want, Mr. Silly Man? A kick in the crotch. There you go. But not too many. Oh no, he's upside down. Right, Cletus, stop Here's being silly. Better than beef. Collect the flat meat before time runs out. Avoid a poo. No Don't worry, I will avoid a poo. Collect the flat meat. Right. So you got to collect all these skunks and all these um, roadkill. Who did all this roadkill in the middle of the streets? I think the story of this one is they go into the Krusty Burgers. Yum, yum, yum. Who doesn't want a nice skunk burger? So it's pretty simple, you just stick to the road for now, but when a poo turns up, that's when this mission becomes hard. He's got a very fast car. Right, seven! Whoa, <laughs> it's a bit Stop bumpy here. Dog, so why are there train it's tracks here, but it. these train tracks literally go nowhere? What's the point of having all these train tracks here? Whoa, they just really? all end within like two meters. There we go, plenty of time left. 13 and 14 now. Right, drive the flat meat to the crusty burger. Sorry, Mr. Policeman. Sorry, lady. Through the car wash. Going through the car wash. Going through the car wash, yeah. That was a lovely car wash. Oh, you. Oh, shit, I'm almost at hit and run. Oh, no. Right, I've got to be very careful. I've got to actually drive very well behaved for now. So when I get to Krusty Burger, surely a poo's going to be here. There he is, right, get away from a poo. It's going to be tough because he's got a really quick car. Right, let's hope he gets stuck and makes a lot of mistakes. Oh, this is going to be tough. I literally escaped from him within five seconds because the AI is not very intelligent and they do get stuck quite often. That can be a problem with this game. Krusty Burgers are made of roadkill? That explains the tire tracks. Take this satellite dish as a reward. She gets 14 channels, including the outhouse channel. Man, I love watching that. Thanks, inbred hillbilly. Torrent nothing. <laughs> the game's absolutely messed up there. There we go, got the satellite dish. Hopefully it gets the classic game of X11 channel. Imagine if I was on TV. Imagine if I had a TV show. There should be more video game based it's TV shows. There was one on Dave called Go 8-Bit, which is pretty good with Dara O'Brien in the UK. But apart from that, video games don't really get much TV coverage, because I guess TV is for old people. Can't have anything for young people on TV these days. Wee! Pregnancy yeah. test? Oh no, Hope Bart's not pregnant, that'd be awful. Oh, dearie me. Hello, Frank. Why am I driving this crap car? Right, how's it going? You expect me to complete a Mark 10 Truckosaurus without a blender? Why don't I just make a plasmoclave without a tennis racket for playing when out loud? Now fetch me a blender with the puree and the frappe and the liquefy. Now where am I going to get a blender? <gasps> Dr. Nick! It's just so random how he picks out his people. Oh yeah, just... Dr. Nick, of course he has a blender. I think most people have blenders these days. Sometimes if you spawn a vehicle that's owned by another character, they will appear in the car, but not always. Hi, Dr. Nick. Hi, Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody. You seem like a heavy drinker. <laughs> Why did I even laugh? I don't know. Okay. My monkeys have escaped. Can you catch them for me? I'll be so grateful. Why won't they come back to you? Because I have tortured them horribly, silly. All right, how's it going, Dad? Can I have your other car? Oh, I've crashed oh, this one enough. The coolest. I need your truck, Homer. Why should I give you that? Because I love you. <laughs> Pay up, sucker. You're charging your own son? Yeah, I guess I am. Ah, that might be why Homer didn't spawn in his car, because Homer is actually in the in the open world. So it'd be a bit weird if he is in the car and here as well. Right, it. monkey see, monkey do. Right, get in your vehicle. Let's, Let's go collect down. some monkeys. Where are all these naughty monkeys? 
dun 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 I remember this mission was really hard when I was younger. You do get plenty of time though. You gotta collect 30 monkeys. Just pay pay attention to the map and you should be okay. Right, go get these ones. Naughty monkeys! Oh, how's it going, Mole Man? I think I've killed Mole Man in literally every episode so far. That's because he's very naughty. Right, I should probably get out of my car at this point, but then that wasp camera might hit me. I'm surprised I'm not ran over that wasp camera. Get naughty monkeys, naughty monkeys. Oh, Bart, why are you so fat? You should be able to run faster. I wonder what the first mission will be that I'm actually going to fail. It might even be this one. There are definitely some very hard missions coming up later. Bart has a lot of hard missions in the sixth episode. Right, let's make this jump. Whee! I mean, this is kind of like a bad deed, though, because these monkeys have been, you know, kind of tortured. But I'm just taking them back to that Mr. Nick just to get a blender. All those poor monkeys. Right, two more. Oh, there's also a collector card up here, I believe. Boing. And a wasp! Bloody wasp, I hate wasps. What's this collector card? This must be worth a AM radio oh. toy. Ah, oh, that's the toy which he put in the well when Timmy fell down the well. And then Bart went down the well as well. Silly boy. Right, how's it going, Professor Prick? I mean, so Professor tired. Nick. Welcome home, Dad, these little angels. Now, to put electrodes in your brains. Right, what cars do you have for sale today, young man? Yeah, I forgot the level two car. cars. Okay, you can buy a limo and a fire truck. Both of those are pretty useless. I mean, the fire truck's got good toughness and good speed, but it's huge, so you'll crash a lot. So, no thank you. Not for me. Have a kick in the crotch. <laughs> I'm so naughty. Right, sellouts. Destroy all the cell phone users' cars before time runs out. You shouldn't even be using your cell phone in a car. That's illegal. I will happily destroy all you. Naughty people. Also, if this game was made now, pretty much everyone would be using a cell phone. I mean, not in the cars, just generally in public. Right. Get destroyed! There we go. Get him into the wall! Into the wall! I take oh, a lot of damage. Surely it's dead. Now. There we go. That's one down. Right. Destroy the next one. Pretty sure you get the same amount of time no matter how long it takes you to destroy the previous one. Let's get head on collision. There we go. That's a good bit of damage. Smash him into the wall. What? That hardly did any damage. That was a lot of speed. Ramming speed. There we go. This one's going much quicker now. Right, three and a half minutes. Oh, this car's already done a bit of damage. He's already crashed himself. Right, what way is he going this way? Here he is. Head on collision! Bosh! Also got to be careful that my Mr. Plow doesn't get destroyed as well. Got to find a good place to get a wrench if it gets a bit too smoky. And oh, Bosh! There we go. That's a lot more damage. Right, oh, no, one more. Right, let's get this wrench. I can't really see when it gets really smoky. There we go. If you pick up a wrench, it heals your car to full health. Alright, there's a little bit of a tap. I'll try and get him head on. That's where you get the big damage. Look at me using my brain and tactics. Right, he should be just around this corner. Hello! Bosh! Yeah, that takes like three quarters damage, just one head on collision. That's the best tactic to use then. Right, let's cut him off. Bosh! Right, just one little bit of damage and he should be done. Come on! Ah, oh, fine! Be a loser. He's getting away. Come back here. Right, he's going around there, so I'll get another head on collision around here. I should be able to. Hello! What? How are you still alive? You had like full black smoke and I just did a head on collision and you're still alive. That's cheated in my books. Why is your car not blowing up? Die! There we go. Drive back to the stadium. So that should be the last mission for Bart. In the next episode we'll go on to Lisa's missions. In level 3, which will be very exciting news. But as for now we'll get a lovely cutscene. Truckosaurus is some kind of truck slash dinosaur. I never would have guessed.
Deary me, what's happened to Bart? You might find out in the next video. But for now, that is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you everybody for watching, take care and leave me alone.